there are many reasons why audiences may lose attention. For example, it is almost certain to happen if we overwhelm them with details, facts and jargon. A powerful presentation is simple. It enthuses and enthralls, engages and entertains, is enjoyable and effective. You must save the complexities for the handout or later meetings. Avoid jargon and do not try to impress with rarely used words. Your goal should be to be as concise as possible. Get your point across using as few words as possible. Keep it simple, stupid. Short sentences work best. Beware of using the word and, which can lead to a never ending sentence. Instead of baffling people with complexities, tell relevant stories and anecdotes. Link your theme to current news events. Ask the audience questions and encourage valuable participation. Use humour, but avoid jokes. Deliberately repeat a few key facts, instructions or ideas. You must never apologise for yourself, your content, nor your support materials. Oh, sorry, I didn't have much time to prepare. Um, oh, this slide's a bit busy. Oh, and actually, this one's someone else's work. Oh. And I've got, I've got a bit of a sore throat today, so please bear with me. Nobody wants to hear excuses. Similarly, Avoid words that diminish your power and lower expectations, such as I oh, will try to help you, will hope to explain, you might find this interesting, oh this section's a bit boring but I have to go through it, I'd like to talk to you today, or oh, you, you might find this a bit complicated. There is no need to be overly polite. You already have the agreement of the audience and you should encourage them to believe that you are happy with your material. You are in charge and the talk will be great. Remind yourself that good preparation will ensure that you have what you need to deliver an engaging and powerful presentation. Make life easy for your audience. Keep it simple, stupid. Consider stories and anecdotes. Never apologise. Do not ask for permission to speak. Involve the audience.